Hello, I'm John Kiever, CTO of Talent IoT Platforms. Talent IoT Platforms is part of the Ericsson Industry Connect ecosystem for private 5G. We assist with the integration of information technology and operation technology infrastructures as part of project-based industry solutions using digital transformation in Industry 4.0. 5G is the first cellular standard that incorporates features specific to IoT, such as ultra low latency and dedicated bandwidth. So the opportunity is primed to leverage these technologies within the context of manufacturing. Today, we'll be using a simple reference implementation using a private 5G for overall equipment effectiveness, or OEE, and condition-based monitoring, or CBM. So let's get started with our demo. Let's take a look at what we have going on here. You'll see at this side of the solution, we're looking at operations technology to focus on what goes on in the factory floor. And at this side, across the private 5G connection, we're looking at our enterprise side or what's going on in the enterprise, whether it's application levels or user you know, and onboard notifications. As far as the physical demonstration, what we have is a couple of switches to indicate break states or downtime states. That's coming into one of our Telet Smart IO signal integration units. We also have a two-state stack light. That's letting us know, are we in the guard bands for good operations effectiveness? Or are we actually running below efficiency? That's being fed into the multi-tech uh, cellular gateway here it's running the Telet 5G uh, module, one of our award-winning uh, 5G modules, and then that's bridging over the Ericsson private 5G network into the enterprise system where we're running our enterprise gateway software. So you'll notice both at the uh, at the operations technology gateway and at the enterprise system gateway, we're running our device-wise gateway software. One focus on the device integration, the other focus on the enterprise operations. Here within the, uh, the uh, actual experience center, the enterprise system is what's driving all the displays. Here we just have one at the enterprise center, they have multiple. So what we're gonna do is take advantage of this end-to-end -end scenario to kind of walk you through what we can do. Let's get started with just some raw device data. So here you see our DeviceWise view product uh, from Talent that sits on top of DeviceWise and allows for visualization of the data. What I'm going to do is interact with some of these different signals, whether they're discrete, whether they're analog or whatnot, to actually change the values. So here you see data coming in through the Smart I.O., coming into DeviceWise view for presentation. Uh, so now what we can do is we'll reset to a known state here and we can go in and take a look at our overall equipment effectiveness and how that's being affected. Now what we've got going on here are a few things. We have a process running, been running for about 39 minutes, 637 uh, products made, and then we have the ability to effectively tweak or modify our different things. So here I can crank up my quality. Of course that directly affects my overall equipment effectiveness, but then we can also trigger other activities. Like here we could cause a break to occur. Breaks are usually planned time, so that doesn't necessarily directly affect your efficiency, but let's say that we have some kind of unplanned downtime occur. Here you'll see our stack light, we're going into a, a bad state. We're also notifying that we've had a down in production that needs to be addressed. This can be addressed at the edge, the notification to the operators can be pushed up to the enterprise for broadcast and notification to other people within the, the plant as well. So we're going to get that reset and move on in uh, to our CBM. And at the CBM level, we're basically showing something a little more uh, advanced from an operations point of view where we're looking at cavitation. We have a pump, we're obviously moving fluid through it at a certain level, and then based upon what's going on, then what can, what can happen is that that you know, can be affected by flow and, and cause then you to go out of band and go into a, a, an alarm state. So here you can take advantage of the system, do the same types of notification upstream uh, into the enterprise, taking advantage of the private 5G infrastructure that you'd have within your factory. So that's the types of things that we would do at that level. Same technology, simply being leveraged a different way, but really taking advantage now of the ability to leverage private 5G on the plant floor. Not as much copper to run, much lower cost deployments, flexibility and being able to move your manufacturing lines around and components more easily as product changes uh, within their life cycle. So that's the basic message that we wanted to get across today. Hopefully it's been a little bit informative to you. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to having the opportunity to work with you soon. Thank you.